everyone, it's Goddess Lily. Well, I'm here with part two of the Bohem Bohemian Kinky Lace Front Wig that I've been making. So I'm done. I have one more little thing to do and I'll show you that in the video. So I was sent one closure and two bundles of hair and the hair was 20 and 22 inches. So it's actually pretty, pretty long. And um, width wise, the hair was both uh, bundles were only about, I'm going to say, a little over a yard long. So maybe one was probably right at 36 inches, and the other one was probably in between uh, 36 and 40 inches wide. So I had to use all the hair, and she wanted me to thin it out, but um, normally I don't do that. I don't offer that service. I really don't like to do anything to the hair as far as cutting, dyeing, layering, um, bleaching. I don't like to do anything to the hair because I'm a wig maker, not a stylist. But I did thin it out only because I had to use all the hair because it wasn't that much. So you see how wide the wefts are apart? Pretty wide, right? So I had to use all the hair and so I had to thin it out because I had to take hair to ventilate with. <clears throat> so let's look at the inside. Okay, so we have a comb in the back as usual. We have combs on each side. I try to make it as seamless as possible joining the uh, the net to the closure. I mean all you can do is do your best. It's not going to fall apart. It may not look <coughs> straight but that's because of the foundation. So um, the sides are ventilated. So you can see where the tracks stop and that's the Swiss lace that I added in and I ventilated through that and also through part of the net. The net actually came all the way out so I ventilated through that just for double reinforcement. So it's about a half an inch of ventilation on each side and it goes all the way up and joins the net together. Then I machine sew it to make sure it's not going to come apart. And. Uh, before I talk about the closure and the pink thread, what I did was, because you know you have to sew your straps in the back or else they're going to keep popping out, I just sewed the strap. I just uh, tacked them down with uh, pink thread. You can just see that little bit of pink thread. I tacked them in so they won't, if they pop out, they're not going to come apart. So. Um, that's because it they always come out. These are, you know, the caps that they make. And I actually take these out and I, I sew elastic stretch across mine. But I did it with pink thread because I'm not sure if you wear yours in the very tight hook. So you'll be able to see the thread and take it or loose, you know, move it over to where you want it. But I just did that because it's just easier, you know, to put on. Just slip it on. You don't have to worry about fastening the hooks. Okay, so um, let's talk about the closure. <clears throat> so this client asked me if I would split her closure and give her a part. And this is the dimensions that she wants. And um, I will do it. It is an extra charge. I have never did it before, but I am custom. I am a custom wig maker, so basically I will do anything you ask. There's going to be a little shedding around that part once I split it, but that should be okay. I will have to sew foundation in there to, in order to sew a couple combs. So right following this video, uh, you will see um, the results of that. And then I'll be totally finished with it. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I am all done with the uh, little part. The part is I'm going to say one inch deep and a half an inch wide. So this is what it looks like on the outside. And <clears throat> this is what it looks like on the inside. So what I did, 
trying to get by the light. Added some combs. I added a comb there, a comb there. And since it's kind of more to the side, I went ahead and added a little comb here because I didn't have that comb there. Basically just had that one there, so that was too big of a gap. So I added this little one there, that one there. So the combs uh, is stuck down in there. Foundation is actually sewn on, and then the comb is sewn onto the foundation, and of course going all through. And then I cut the foundation longer about here, and then I fold it over and tuck the edge in. Give it a nice clean. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Nice clean edge. So <clears throat> what I will say is that I will do this for you, you know, as long as you request it and you pay for it. But I'm not liable and I'm not responsible for any tears in this lace after it leaves my hands. You are responsible. This is a delicate lace. It's not really meant to have comb sewn on it and foundation sewn on it. But you know, this is the 21st century and you know, we want what we want. But I'm telling you, this is my first time doing this, splitting the lace and sewing foundation and combs. I didn't feel comfortable doing it, but it came out really nice. But I'm just letting you know, I am not responsible for any tears and splits that come down this lace as a result of it. I don't think that it will split and tear, but this is Swiss lace. It's real delicate. Um, you know, just be careful with it. I think, you know, if you're pulling it really hard and stuff, yeah, you could probably tear it, but normal wear and tear and washing, it shouldn't tear. Okay, thank you for watching. Actually, I forgot to mention one thing. I would like for all of you to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Goddess Lily, G-O-D-D-E-S-S-L-I-L-Y -S -S on Instagram. I charted this whole wig. For those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, I have tons of photos and a couple little 15 second videos of my progress on this whole wig from beginning to end. So if you've been watching me or following me on Instagram, then you've already seen the completed, uh, you know, progress the process of this okay so thank you very much